pro-life campaigners arrested for silently praying near an abortion centre in Birmingham have been vindicated. During hearings at Birmingham Magistrates Court, the judge dismissed cases against Isabel von Spruce and Roman Catholic priest Sean Goff after the Crown Prosecution Service failed to provide any evidence and dropped the charges. The pair were supported throughout by Alliance Defending Freedom. Isabel spoke to the Institute's Kieran Kelly. This is obviously very good news. You must be delighted. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased, Kieran. Um, so yesterday we went to Birmingham Magistrates Court and I was found not guilty on all the charges. Um, the prosecution didn't offer any evidence whatsoever. Um, so now I'm officially not guilty rather than just having charges dropped, which is quite a different situation. Um, and yeah, I'm completely vindicated of any wrongdoing. Um, so I, I really wanted to, to thank everybody who's been praying into this situation. And I know lo loads of people have sent their support and their prayers. Um, and yeah, thank you to all the people at Christian Institute that have prayed. And, and obviously I'm very pleased for ADF who've been supporting me through this, that, that they, um, you know, helped secure this, this verdict. Absolutely. So uh, this has worked out well for you in the end, but with the prospect of censorship zones like these being rolled out nationwide, you must have some concerns. Huge concerns, yeah. Um, uh, uh, and obviously it should never have come to this, that I was arrested on a public street just simply for my you know, private thoughts in my own head. And the concerns are that this could be happening nationwide if um, buffer zones, national buffer zones are passed. Um, these censorship zones, whether it's PSPOs or, or, or the possibility of national buffer zones, are totally you know, disproportionate, that they're, they're discriminating against people with certain beliefs. Um, and certainly to Christians, they particularly mention prayer um, and, and making it a, a criminal offence you know, to hold certain prayers in, in certain areas. Um, so I, th I think Christians really need to be on the watch, um, really pray that this doesn't go through with national buffer zones um, and, and to be speaking out against this. And, and to be fair, you know, whatever anyone's religious beliefs or even their beliefs on the pro-life issue, um, I, I think we should be aware that, you know, our basic freedoms are at threat with with national buffer zones. And um, we need to make sure that it, it does not get to the stage that um, those freedoms are taken away by law. Because um, that would that would be a, a grave injustice.